Prepare for heart-pounding action in a brand new game, Exfil. Immerse yourself in a thread of tactical extraction game where you'll be joining one of four elite teams. Your mission is to receive critical intel from a downed healer using your GPS skills, outsmarting your opponents, executing a flawless exfiltration, or you can exterminate all of your competition. Now, if you like what you hear, please make sure you leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below on your point of view of this game, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Now for the challenge with this game, which is its main selling point, the RNG factor. It is an awesome experience. When you load into a game, you don't know what map you're going to be getting, as well as you don't know what the weather, time of day, the time of year that you're going to be getting either. So you can end up having a wonderful summer's day, frolicking through the fields, finding the helo and doing all your wonderful things. And then the next game could be literally midnight with a thunderstorm, so you just can barely not see anything. Or you could be joining during the winter on a nice winter summer day with a light tinkle of snow, or it could be an absolute hellstorm. You have got no idea what you're gonna be stepping into. On top of that, your helo location is also randomized. It's never in the same location. As well as on top of that, your spawns are also randomized as well. So when you load in, you have got no idea. You cannot pre-plan for this, which means that you and your squad need to think on your feet. There is VoIP in this game, which is great. So if you jump into a public server, it's going to be awesome for you. For me personally, I ended up doing a 4v4v4v4, a 16 player server with me and a bunch of friends. And it was a absolute blast over on twitch.tv slash piranha. The squad size can also go up to 32 on a server. So you can end up having like a 16 verse 8 verse 8. Also, when it comes to this game, there is a drone and it is one of the most fundamental parts when it comes to this extraction shooter that we haven't really seen in any others, in my opinion. So you get a drone and you can use it to scout your location. You got yourself your little GPS that everyone has. So you need to go find the helo spot. It doesn't mark directly where the helo has gone down, but it does mark a certain area. And then when you get your drone, you can go off and have a look, scout ahead, point out, you know, relay information back to your squad mates once you've found yourself the helo or if you found another squad and the thing is it isn't the quietest thing but you can't hear it about 20 to 30 meters away so if you position it high enough because you can angle the actual drone camera up and down you can get a pretty decent bird eye view of the battlefield from above with this all said replayability is pretty decent because you don't know who you're going against there's no real private lobbies that you can only play with your friends and currently the game is just purely pvp but with a little surprise of a mortifier whenever you call it the extraction which also adds a little bit of a rng element there as well but at the moment it is just purely pvp they are planning on adding a pve people to come and you know mess your day up which is going to be quite interesting to see and I'll also add one of the best elements to this is a lot of meal sims do last for a good couple of hours, but I will say most of our games being the 4v4v4v4, 4 4 4 4 4, it was only around about 6 to 10 minutes, which meant that you was in and out quite quickly and you didn't really get so bored of one location. I will say our last game, there was quite a bit of camping, so it did go on for about 10, 15 minutes, but the helicopter was in an absolute horrendous spot for us to actually try and grab. So that's kind of you know the situation changes to each map like i said before you got no idea what is going to be what you're going to be loading into what the weather's going to be like and the time of day as well i would say the night vision isn't the best but also it's kind of realistic you can't you know see everything but you can see a decent but not a huge amount of information is going to be on the screen as it will be compared to during the day now I want to talk about the gunplay and how the gun handles as well as the grenades and all of that wonderful stuff. It is built in Unreal Engine 5 and the thing is the gunplay does feel pretty decent. There is some weird effects when it comes to ADSing. Your gun can do some weird funky things. But again, this is the whole point of the, you know, it's an alpha game right now. and They're doing pre-tests uh, pre at the moment over on Steam. So make sure you go and check it out. You don't need to buy the game. It is free pre-tests. I would recommend doing that and giving it a go. If you're watching this video, I would definitely recommend it for you. 
But when it comes to the gameplay and the guns, the bullets do feel like they travel at a decent speed. It doesn't feel like you're playing Battlefield where they're not moving that fast. And the TTK is quite realistic. I don't think armor really means anything in this game. Like if you've got a helmet or whatever, because I am one tapping people whether I'm hitting them in the face, obviously, or in the helmet. There doesn't really seem to be that much of deflection when it does come to your armor. It is a, I would say the TTK is quite close to Escape from Tarkov. In fact, it's quite similar to Tarkov. You don't really get to choose your loadouts either at the moment. I'm pretty sure that will be planned down the road. If not, that would be ludicrous. So yes, I'm going to say it is going to be planned down the road. I will say I'm pretty sure you want to run the guns on single fire. When we was running full auto, we were staring at the sky almost instantly as well. So if you run the gun single fire and just tap as fast as you can, they are pretty flat when you do it that way. You do have a selection of stun grenades, flash grenades, um, normal frag grenades and smoke grenades and the smoke grenades seem to actually work they are a pretty decent thing you can sit in them and do whatever you want when it does come to the smoke grenades you can't drive anything so there's no drivability i'm not so sure if that's going to be added and the map sizes aren't actually that big either they're two meter two kilometers by two kilometers squared so they are you know not huge but they are big enough where you might not end up running into someone and the thing is once you pick up the actual exfil item so the intel from the helicopter, you can go and travel to one of the furthest extracts. So then you guarantee that little bit of safety because the moment the helicopters come in, you can extract straight away. So I'm going to give you my final conclusion of the current state of the game. And then afterwards, I'm going to be showing you a game where I absolutely slapped people. But the current, my current conclusion on this game is it has got a lot of uh, potential in the sense of he can do anything at this point they're definitely very community focused and want zeus's as they would call it in armor like the you have game masters so when you set up a server you can kind of decide if you want certain aspects to it you can choose what map it is you can't choose what time of day or what the weather's going to be i hope they do add that because that'd be a great quality of life you've also got spectator mode which is really good so if you want to do some you know youtube videos of you know in immersive fights or if you're going to do some competitions or something they do have that uh, that ability there for you but it seems like only one person can spectate so it's just a bit weird but hey it is what it is at the moment the repayability is definitely there i will say but it would be limited right because they've only got one game mode that you're only basically doing one thing over and over again the maps do change don't get me wrong and the time of day and the weather's everything is dynamic but after a while, it will get extremely samey. So I'm really looking forward to see what they do to try and bring something to the end game. Now, when it does come to the end game, I got no idea what they're going to do for that. That's going to be an interesting one to see how they're actually going to pull this off. I mean, obviously, going to keep adding more maps and more maps. Unreal was a really good freaking engine when it comes to FPS and all that wonderful stuff. So I am definitely excited to see where this will finally go. But it's definitely got a brilliant starting point of a video game so at the end of the day i would definitely recommend you try out on the pre-test and i'll be interested to see what the price would be once they get to the release stage for alpha or for whatever they're going to do when it comes to that i will leave a link in the description to their socials the steam page as well as their discord they do have a wonderful dev team who is extremely helpful compared to a few other games out there a decent moderator team as well and they are still in the early stages of growing but i would definitely recommend you go to their discord and just keep it up to date with everything now enjoy this gameplay that you're going to see me absolutely slapping some people and you guys have a great day oh i just got oh you could change it to a pistol yeah but that's because it's your second video. yes do that lou do that Please. <laughs> yeah, you ready to go in pistol? All pistol? Okay, sweet. Uh, who's by themselves? That's Joe. That's me. I'm, I'm going to get yeah, up and get eyes on. Oh. Where do you guys go? Well, oh, audio's a lot better in this game. Holy shit. Cap. Okay, I've lost you. Guys. Gap. I, I had Look a free man push me. Let's tab. Let's scroll in. Why am I always losing you guys? I've got shots on the objective already. Mm. I thought we were close. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's <laughs> each other on my language. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> shit.
that was a bit too good, that one was. <laughs> Alright, we they must be right here next to this compound here. To the, to the right here. How do you oh, yeah, Blue's just gone in. Yeah, fuck up Blue, bro. Cause He's a uh, left hand ends. side of the right uh, little building. You got someone to the right? Oh! Those guys are shit I'm in. <laughs> I love how Jay's dead again. Like, it's just fucking like three guys. Uh, I've got like, no time to Fucking bushes with guns. Uh, we've got more shots from I'm rotating behind. back. I'm rotating back. I'm rotating back. I'm okay, gonna go yeah. to the corner of this compound. I'm with you. I've gotta say, Lou, that's bullshit. He should so be dead. There's... I know, right? In that oh, he is dead. She got him. Someone on the left as well. Can we vote this? Right. No. Right. Nah, mate. Luke, Luke I'm got one in this. there, man. She smoked his shit. Oh, the guy in the building. Yeah. Okay, cool. There was another one far left of that. Mate, there's fucking two on my body. And I was so stood about I, three feet away from you. you. <laughs> oh, that's really right there. Okay. I'm taking shots. You are you in the complex? I am in the complex, this guy's opposite. Okay, yeah, I can see him across in the uh, bushes. They're droning. Contact. They're droning. I can see the guy that was shooting at him. Blue? Yeah, yeah careful. From the bush. Ouch, fucking cunt. Shit. <laughs> the only thing is that the, um, the distance in from where you hear the shots to where they are is a bit off. They sound yeah. really far away. Yeah, that big. Oh, I've got one. I ain't got any more. Oh, no. Might be on me. But, uh, it might be a pack on my dead body. <laughs> you haven't pressed yeah, H down there? Uh, no. Because um, I thought... Did four... you get one, yeah? yeah I, I killed one. one earlier. Oh, I was so excited. Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Quick, grab the... What about you, Sugar, then? Yeah, I, I just took care of their drone. Oh, nice. It wasn't me, mate. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> you gobbled that shit up. Damn. You think you crossed over road? No. Um, I'm crossing uh, over road further down. Yeah, I'm the opposite corner. Oh, that I am taking shots there. right now, though. We forgot to grab the drone this fucking game. Oh mate. Nice. How's your audio? <laughs> I think So you you've got another team, mate, pushed up, basically. Oh shit. I'm dead. <laughs> that doesn't help me. I don't know where you're in footsteps. Die behind you, babe. Yeah. Can't quite tell what people are. Go on, Pete. Go on, Pete. He's on my mate. He's got like four or five, I think. Oh, yeah, I've killed him. Yeah. He's making content. I am making Bastard. content, bro. Lucky Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Giga good job. I think I've killed about six or seven people this game. No, I was thinking like 12 or 13. Yeah, I was like 17 or 18 people. It's gotta be in it, it's gotta be. It's gotta yeah, be. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Don't make his head bigger, bro. <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> gassing each other up. <laughs> yeah, mate, you killed 47 people, mate. You're a legend. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh no. no wow. Sit down, boy. Oh. Stop fucking Damn. around with me. Sit that fuck down. <laughs> is that you? No. What about you? I don't know. What about you? Well, I'm dead. Well, who is it? Fucking you know. <laughs> Damn. Love that. <sighs> what did your guy just do? Killed. <laughs> nah, that moan. wasn't a heal. That wasn't a heal. <laughs> he definitely it moaned. sound like it healed. <laughs> he was like, look, 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 guys, okay. I don't heal normally. I heal in the best way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes, suppositories. I concur.
Mate, I'm not going to lie to you. I think you've killed two teams, mate. <laughs> oh, I killed a few this people, is, this I think. This is where he's going to stay in the raid and he's on his own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and still we lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean to name myself, but shit happens. Okay, lads? Oh my I'm, I'm, I'm out here making plays, That's... carrying the team. That would happen to like me. I'll just end up staying in and everyone's dead. Mate, for fuck's sake. I have space I'm, for I'm awareness. Lou, I'm it's starting to dead. leave. So starting to... The... Sit down! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> big balls! <laughs> Come on <laughs> in! <laughs> I will eliminate all of you cunts. See, that's, that's, because right. they, that's because they kept talking shit about him in the lobby. Right. Yeah. So, oh, that was easy. Anyway, what's what's going on? You all sitting still, eh? What are you showing up for? Hey, look. life game. Life game. Piranha's on top, boy. People are raging. Long nuts are short, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And a huge thank you to all of my supporters over on Twitch, YouTube, and Patreon. And specifically, thank you to Jathawi, the Riven King, as well as Kazuki for your continued support.